71, huh? Okay. That seems like a good number, right? What, which, you did that with your 71 with your left. left, okay. Oh, hey, look, I needed a pen. Oh, it's right here on my cute little table. Aw, <laughs> look, I, I'm so sensible, I love it. It's nice to be smart, I appreciate it. Do you appreciate being smart? Yes. Yes, it's good to have the good brain. I've been very thankful of this consciously in my 43rd year on this planet. Okay. What is today's date? Today's like 24th or something? Yeah. yeah okay. It's, it's a weekend. Why do we know <laughs> what the d date is? 2-24-24. Oh, that's, that's like it when the numbers just kind of wham, lock into place. <laughs> okay. Through the left hand, you did 71. Okay, mm -hmm. good. So you beat your record. Ooh, did you do it with your right hand? That's my left. Oh. Nice deep breaths. Exhale on the final crush. And you get to 80%. Nice deep breath in. And exhale and push all the way. Seventy-five. Okay, all right. Why right, right. Your your previous one was was seventy-eight. So at least you haven't like atrophied. <laughs> okay, good. Status quo. Get stronger. We're we're tracking progress. So far there is no progress. So far it's yeah. just you are that strong. Get stronger. Go to the go to the gym. Go to the gym coach. And go find your favorite gym coach, whoever you like the best. Forget that. Who's ever the strongest? Just, hey, you, person who has muscles, how did you do that? Show me. And I guarantee it, that teacher will be elated. Oh, my God, a student who actually cares about what I'm teaching and what my expertise is. Wow. I guarantee it that you will make their day. You will make that teacher's day. If you say, yo, my drum teacher said, I need to get strong AF, and you can quote me, but I'm only using the, the initials, right, the AF, so I'm still being good. <laughs> I want to get strong <laughs> AF, and can you show me how? And that person... Who, who's your favorite gym teacher? Name one person. I don't know. Who is your gym teacher? You take PE, right? No. No? Only, you only take PE in freshman and sophomore year. Junior and senior year, you don't do PE anymore. Or if you do marching band, you only take, you only take PE your freshman year. In sophomore year, you stop since you did <sighs> marching band. Really? Yeah. Oh my God. Okay. <sighs> From I'm, my freshman I'm disgusted with the system. Every year of high school, all the boys were getting swole in the weight room. Mm -hmm. The whole school did athletics. Everyone was on the soccer team. Everyone was on the football team. Everyone was in band. No. Band kids were doing band, the football kids were doing football, but everyone was like, yeah! Mm -hmm. Tascadero High School in the 90s was just like, yeah! full of like, yoked <laughs> dudes winning CIF every year. Mm -hmm. We won the, we, Tascadero, we're a bunch of grunts around here, and we know how to pick everything's up and put them down again. Like, I'm Arnold Schwarzenegger, I picked that up, I put it down. He got famous off of doing that. More power to him. Yeah. So, I feel bad for your generation. Another reason why I think you guys are... going to have an interesting time figuring out how to do life as as happily and as healthily as possible. Not after a good start, busting up your knees. Are you injured this year? This, this, 
this week? Are you in? <laughs> yes, you are. You are overall this year injured. But, <laughs> but any new bangs? Any new twists? Any no, new? No, I still have the injury from last week. Okay, but my mom you, has not taken. You haven't made anything yet. worse. No. Okay, go go get yourself go to a chiropractor and get yourself straightened out. Mm -hmm. Literally. There's a pull-up bar at the end of that hallway, and most nights, I just go and hang from it. Not only to get a uh, build, you know, grip strength, which is always a good idea for someone like us, <clears throat> but also to let my vertebrae just like, like separate from yeah. each other. For all my, from, from, from this part of my arm to this part of my arm, to just like, ah, oh, like get st stretching it out. And we're not just stretching muscles, we're stretching out our connection points. Like yeah, I can, we can pull our finger a little bit. And I just heard a little pop there. So, you know, we can, we can stretch, we can elongate the finger, we can elongate the wrist, we can elongate the arm, we can elongate the whole upper body from the lower body. Elongation. I guarantee, how many, what percentage of your day are you experiencing pain? Are you someone who lives in pain? Mm -mm. No, I just don't. Okay, well, knock on wood. Those who live in pain, like daily, they, those are some unhappy campers. So don't be breaking any more bones. Don't be doing nothing <clears throat> to the only r the only level of risk I want you taking is doing bench presses with with a spotter. That's pretty safe. This is pretty safe. And bam, do that once and then never do it again. <laughs> right? Don't do it intentionally. My God. Don't hurt yourself. I'm trying. Okay. Because if you're not alive, you can't drum. Which yeah. is your, now your sole purpose in life. <laughs> and by the way, I'm not teaching you how to drum. I'm teaching you how to human. Right? Mm -hmm. One of the ultimate, one of the almighty virtues that you are going to get better at through this and through other things in life is the virtue of patience. Being patient with others, being patient with yourself. That's the big one. And so drumming here, what everything we're doing here, all this like granularity, all these like specific little things, do this, do that, that's wrong, that's right. All these little things are just a pathway for you to grow in the virtue of patience. <laughs> because musicianship, if you, if you want to learn how to play music and you are not already somewhat of a patient person and are going to be patient with yourself, you're going to check yourself into a loony bin at the end of it because you're going to be so upset with yourself. We're learning how to human. I don't care if you become the best drummer on the whole planet. That would be amazing. I, I would be a very proud dad. But what I care about most is you learning core character traits, such as the act of being patient with others and yourself, through this, through this practice of drums. Let's do it. Take these. Oh my God, I just bought these sticks. They're so cool. <laughs> I was in Bakersfield this weekend watching a wrestling tournament, my friend's kid, and stopped by at one of the music stores that they have there. And they had a wonderful selection of big, awesome sticks. So you have the, what are those, the Jim Casellas? Yeah. That's, yeah. Jim Casella used to be the the drum caption head for
for Santa Clara Vanguard. Mm -hmm. He used to be the drum guy. The drum guy now is Paul Rennick. He's, he's the man. Oh, and I got myself some new sticks, and I put a nice, cool pattern on, like, when I see these sitting in the stick bag, like, oh, here are my sticks. Zing! It kind of has, like, a lightsaber feel to it. You know what a lightsaber is? Mm -hmm. Okay, good. <laughs> you have cultural dorkness in you. Good. I'm just showing up. Okay. Let's just slam through these. Eight on a hand. One. Or bum 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 bum. One, two, run, uh, uh, read it. One, two, three, four. Bigger. Big, 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 big. Mm, mm. One, two, uh, 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 uh. Four, two, three, four. Okay, you are way sitting too close. Yeah. Yep. Your 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 technique went to hell. But that's because she was too close. <clears throat> and I would have played the same way if I was that crowded. Okay. Yeah, things are a little precarious, but look uh Kick your elbows out a little bit. Oh, you know what I'm going to do? Is that what I want to do? Yes. All right. Uh, get off and pick up that chunk of the, your seat there. And I'm going to add in a... S I'm going to take away... A big platform underneath, but not take away too much height. Yeah, just lift that thing up. And now, put it back down. Aw, oh, look, it's a little toadstool stool. <laughs> okay, you shall see why we're going to do this. I am lowering her so that she has to raise her arms more. And the further she has to raise, the less likely she's going to do this because it's, it's uncomfortable to do that. Right? Now, turn over and play like that. Now, yeah, it, now it feels bad. So lowering you, or rather l raising your playing surface, for now, for now, I'm, I'm actually one, one, one little step lower today. But, you know, if we're playing way up here. I'm definitely not going to turn my wrist, so anything to shape the ergonomics to promote good form. Okay. One, two, two. Nice and big. Mm. One, two. Oh, and I'm not going to say uh, stop. I'm, you, you better just, just read the music. I'm going to kill you if, you if you get it wrong. Ready, set, go. One, two, ready, go. One, two, three. Big. Mm. Big, big, big. Breathe. Mm. Mm. Is that a mistake? Oh my god, I'm yeah. gonna blow your head off. Okay. What was the mistake? What, what did you do wrong? You ended where? You ended exactly where? On the left. Yes, right. the, yeah, okay, good. At least you know. All right, moving on. At the same time, the fun part is I don't have my glasses. Well, good. I broke my glasses. <sighs> <laughs> Playing football with the boys? What? No. I took a nap and I forgot to put them on in the car. And then boyfriend stepped in the break and yeah. <sighs> Teaching you how to human here. <laughs> no more busting your glasses in dumb situations. Maybe that was like the sixth kid that I played with. Your life is nothing but a whole string of decisions. The decision 
to put the left foot in front of the right, to put the right foot in front of the left, the decision to make steps as you walk, those are all decisions. Mm -hmm. The decision to brush your teeth or not at night, the decision to show up and drum or not, the decision to whether you did it consciously or not, you know, you decided to leave your glasses on your head in what could have been a dangerous situation for them. You should have known, oh, I'm getting drowsy. I might fall asleep. Here, let me take off my glasses, put them in the safe spot. Decisions. A whole composition. Your life is a composition of a musical piece, a, a piece of music. Beethoven's Fifth Symphony is composed of a bunch of musical notes. Mm -hmm. Your life is composed of a bunch of decisions. Music notes, decisions, it's all the same thing. All right. Every note that I put, I and Beethoven, placed on a page, every, every little decision, every little note, those are all little micro decisions. My album sounds the way it does because of thousands and thousands of little microscopic decisions. You get it. You get it. Okay. Play that. Don't screw it up. If you do, I'm going to thwap you across the teeth. Respond to threat. Here we go. As a review, to be fair, I'll play it. <laughs> one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Notice the whole time I'm just doing this. 100% of the beats are simply an eighth note. <laughs> See if I can do this. <laughs> See if I can truly keep this steady, like the same dynamic, mm -hmm. and then I'll keep, and then I'll actually play it over here. Now while I'm kind of cheating, I'm kind of doing hand-to-hand -hand plans, <laughs> which you don't even know what that is yet. Well, I taught it to you, but I have a hunch you don't remember. Okay. So the eighth note just stays the same the whole time. I got something to work on. Hey, that doesn't that doesn't happen too often. Good. It's a stretch for me now at this level to like, oh, a new thing to work on. Like that's rare. Right now, it's just your whole daily life. Okay. Although I always know what I should be practicing and that I should be practicing. Okay. Let's slam through this. One, two, okay. So nice and slow. And and what? Is this called what? Accents and taps. Accents and taps. What's an accent? A big note. What's a tap? Yeah. Small note. Tip tappity tapperoo, just tippity ta tiny little tiny little mousy tappies taps. Perfect word for it. Tap 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 tap. Accent accent accent. Or we could call it like bang bangs, bangs and taps. Nice and slow. Okay. Give me a really big, confident note. Thumb on the stick. Don't make me kill you. And, and, and do this. OK, let's preface it with this. Come on now. Not this. This. Stop it immediately. You've done this. Elbow up. Get real. Just, just grab the stick. Just, just, just crush the whole stick. It's right after you hit it, you crush it. Yeah, now do that better. There you go. Good. Okay, watch. I'll mimic you. See, I'm, okay, the stick is going up, but it's going up to here, and then I'm crushing. It's going here, 
and then two millimeters above it, then I'm crushing. I'm basically just going crunch. I'm, I'm basically crushing the stick and hitting it at the same time. That's essentially what you're doing. So open hand, closed hand, open hand, closed hand. Elbow up. Are you, is this in your way? I should lower this, okay. Well, just, just know, to, I, I want your elbow up anyway, yeah. so just keep it up here instead of down there. Okay. For now, today. Yes. Okay, now do this. Bang, tap. Oh my God, not this. Uh, I'm, I'm doing this crush. I'm crushing it so that it ends up an inch away from the head mm -hmm. so that I can go tap. I don't want to lift my stick up in preparation for the tap. Come straight to here, do exactly what I do. Just come three inches right off the bat. And just go tap, tap. Yes, before you did this, up, down, and the second time you just went down. Yes, just down. That's a tap. Tap, 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 tap. Okay, now do the, do the grab thing. Grab, tap. Okay, that's the basic idea. Let's slam through this. And we'll take it super slow so that you can have a straight, you don't need this. It's just four twos, four twos, four threes, four threes, mm -hmm. four fours, four fours, that's it. I didn't, these only have two, two tubes around it. I want most of your sticks, here we go. Ah, oh, that's nicer. Okay, grab, tap, grab, tap, grab, tap, grab, tap. One, two, and these are twos, right? And then now threes. One, two, three, five, six. It just, accenting every second eighth note, accenting every third eighth note, accenting every fourth eighth note, done. Take a sip of your water. It's hot. Hot water, the drink of kings. It's a good morale boost, especially during the winter months. It's not amazing. Hot <laughs> water. Who would have thought? Would you have ever thought in your whole life to, I'm just going to drink water that's hot. Oh, you have? Yeah. Have you done it before? Yeah. Because I taught you? No. You've already done this? You know about the glory. And so you appreciate that. All right, good. All right, I'm preaching the choir. <laughs> Do that perfectly. Okay. Big, small, big, small. One, two, ready, go. Big, small, big, small. Okay, grab, tap, grab, tap, grab, tap, grab, tap. All right, let's um, sit. How much space do you, okay, take your whole stool. Go back four inches with it, and then sit on the edge of it. Okay, now sit on the edge of that sucker so that you're, so that you're falling forward, so that your legs are keeping you from falling, as opposed to just being centered on the seat, so be teetered forward, which will keep your back straight. Ergonomics. 
bash, bash your elbow into this. Just knock that. OK. Now, now you know it's not a problem, because you're not going to do that, at least. So yes, it's here. Deal with it. OK, now come way up here and just slam that sucker down. OK, now, now see if you can stop it. Bam, as soon as it hits. Yes, OK, now, don't, now you pulled your punch. This is what pulling your punch is. See what I'm doing? I'm going way, way up here, but then slowing it down. I'm going, er, I'm hitting the brakes, which is what shy people do. Don't be shy. <laughs> Come, just, just lift your whole, just articulate the elbow, just way, way up. Give me big, just do twos. Forget the sequence. As slow as you need to go. Hit that thing. Uh. Okay, do this. Uh, uh. Bang on this as hard as you can. Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. Hit the other one too. Okay, hit this thing for real once and then doosh. Okay, now lift your whole back straight. This whole, this whole, sh this needs to be one shape, always, for it to be cons as consistent as possible. I should just put you in like a cast that holds your, like just put you in a whole bo upper body cast. Hi guys, at school. I could have a wear cast for them. I'm gonna, well, you better show me that you, I don't need to put you in one. Ready as I go. I'm, I'm thinking of inventions for you. <laughs> Torture devices, yes. I can never wear that. Okay, hit it for real and stop it. <clears throat> okay, now we'll play a little game. You try to get yours to stop lower than mine. Beat that. Getting there. Ideally, it ends about three inches because up three inches is, is a good height for a tap. In the, drum, in the drum line world, we have threes, sixes, nines, twelves. Mm -hmm. Piano, mezzo, forte, mezzo piano, mezzo forte, forte. Four basic uh, dynamic classes. Yeah. You get it. So three inches is piano, six inches, nine, well then twelve. Twelve is just known. Okay. It's not literally going to be that, mm -hmm. but you have four placements. You have the three, the six, the nine, and the 12. And even if this is more, than, which is way more than 12, uh, I can just see it. Um, but so from the spectrum, from this zero degree to 90 degree, zero degrees, 90 degrees, angles, right? Math class, your favorite. Second favorite. Oh, I was joking. <laughs> do you like math? Yes, I do. You I do? Math. I do enjoy math. It may not stick, but I do enjoy math. Well, at least they're bad. Okay. <laughs> She's really bad at math. Yeah. She, she would be the first to admit it. Okay. <laughs> it's really bad. But, but, by doing music math, that will bolster regular math. So, you're learning math, too. Learn how to human and how to do math. Two very different things. <laughs> <laughs> Ideally, this exercise looks like this. Oh. And fours and so on. So give me a good stop. Bam! Stop that thing three inches from the top. Oh my god. I'm, okay, watch. I'm going to mimic you. You tell, you, I'm going to show you you. Mm -hmm. And you coach me. Shy, put that into language. What am I doing that? that boxers do. 
boxers pull their punch. Mm -hmm. I, if I, I could not pull my punch and just push right through you and send you off, or I could pull back right at the last second and barely hit you. I'm slowing it down up, but still, but not slowing it down enough, slowing it down to like 1% so that it, it just barely touches you, which is, which is something to practice, which is really, try that. Let's try it right now. Do a big stroke and just do what you're doing already, so it shouldn't be that much of a challenge. <laughs> just don't hit it hard, but have a big stroke. Do that. Okay, let, now let's start from just here. And just do like a medium strokes, but just like, so kind of a big stroke, but you're, and you can use more of an arm for this because you're gonna have your whole arm, your whole arm has to slow down. So this is more of an army kind of thing. Yeah, do that again. Hit that for real. Okay, you're getting, okay. Um, all right, really sit as tall as you can. Turn this over, get your thumb off to the, get your, oh my God, don't have your, am I gonna have to give you some trainer sticks? Don't make me bust them out, just drum like a normal drummer. Hit that thing for real. Show me as good a technique as possible. Everything matters, all technique. Everything I've shown you boils down to this <laughs> critical moment right now. Yes. Do it. Work it out in the head. Do it. Have your hand do the thinking. You don't need to think about it. Just put, just access the brain in your hand. Just sit back and let the hand do what it knows it needs to do. Watch. It's going, it, you're, you're, Stroke, 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 hit, 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 grab. This needs to be stroke, 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 hit, grab at the same time. You're letting it bounce up too far and then you're grabbing it. So really just think, okay, let's do this. Both sticks down, both hands. Oh, this is lovely, isn't it? It would be better if the sticks were this way, but then they would, there wouldn't be enough space. I need a it's gonna be better next week. Okay. Just do this. Hands up. Hands up and open. Hands down and closed. Hands up and open, down and closed. And now I want you to hit the air and, cl and I want to hear a one-handed. I want to hear a one-handed clap. Let me hear it. Okay, good. Now I want to hear that at the bottom of your stroke. Do one-handed claps by, I, I want you to clap the air right here. Clap the air right here. I want you to send a, 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 a spherical radiation of air waves, of air molecules getting pushed from all directions, omnidirectionally, clap the air. And you can get your wrist involved, like pow, which, which speeds it up at the last second. Yes. Let me watch you do it again. Both hands. Now, would you just do that and hold the stick and hit the darn thing? <laughs> God. Hit it, for real. Yes, immediately it's better. Okay. Still is a lot of work, but okay. Now she's hitting it for real. Now she's, now she's getting more confidence. Now she's doing it more on her own. Now she knows what she needs to practice. Ah. It's clapping the air with our one-handed claps. Okay, noted.
Okay, give me give me some double stops. Big, big fat double stops. Do, 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 do. Louder than me. Slower, but but bigger. Do, 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 do. Now less arm and more wrist. Okay. There's a thing that ba ba that baseball players do when they're like on deck in the circle waiting to go up to bat. They do this a lot, and they practice their swing, and they even put like weights on the end of it, mm -hmm. and go through the go through their string. They're getting a feel. And why? And also, when they're up to bat, with the reason why they're doing this, why are they doing that when the pitcher's about to throw the ball? Why? What, what, is, the, what is the purpose of that? There's definitely a reason. What is it? Eh, bada, bada, bada. Why, are they, why are they doing this? They, ha here's the thing, they have to connect that bat, they have to make this thing hit a ball. Mm -hmm. That's pretty difficult to do, especially if you get, have some guy who's throwing 106 miles per hour, <clears throat> like right past your nose, like that's something. You know, these people get paid millions of dollars for a reason because it's impressive. <laughs> and humans like to be entertained by impressive things. Okay. but they can't see their bat. It's behind their head. No, no batter has ever like looked at his bat while the ball is coming. No, keep around the ball, Sonny. Bam! So they have, you, you, you have the right, beginning to have the right language for it, they're getting a feel for it. They're getting an understanding of where it is in space. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm gonna try this. I'm gonna try to put my finger directly on top of this without looking. I'm gonna shake it around. Oh no. Oh, I got close. Ooh, let's embarrass her. Let's do this. Do this for one hand, one stick in your right hand. Put it behind you, like, like you're doing a batter's thing. And now drop it a little bit and then raise your other hand back here, and now touch that thing. Uh, see if I can do it. But, but you'd be able to do it better if you were wiggling this around. Wiggle it around. Know where it is in space by getting a feel for it. Where is it? Okay, it's right. I'll even, I'll even do this with my other hand. Right there. Ooh, nailed it! <laughs> Ooh, almost nailed it. Come on, give it, a, give it a whirl. Touch that thing. Okay, now stop it. Oh, yes, very, ah. Okay, now, now, where we're going with this is this head has weight. And in fact, try the game now. Oh, I didn't get, I didn't go far enough. Oh, totally missed it. <laughs> okay, my theory is proving wrong so far. Oh, I'm ahead of it. That's interesting. Let's see if I can correct. Oh, for three. Okay, well, uh, I'm... You see all what I was going for, <laughs> but so I can have a better feel for its spatial. My spatial awareness was more tuned into it. Mm -hmm. Oh, two of these sticks. Is that buzzing? Yeah, I need a, I need a wrap. Wrap the end. This is just yeah, because the, the 
the rubber is like slapping. Mm -hmm. Okay. What is going to solve the issue here? Okay, I'm going to give you these bad boys. A smushy fulcrum, so therefore you have to grip onto this tighter mm -hmm. in order to have, because this is a stronger hold than this mush. So therefore I have to grab it harder, therefore developing the muscles even more. This is a pain in the ass, especially if I want to like really dig in and play with it. So. Feel, dribble this with whatever hand is more comfortable with. Just dribble it and feel the weight. Feel where this is in space like a baseball player does with the bat. Send this weight down. Fling this weight down. Yes, okay, give me a few bounces. Bigger. Faster. Now do it with that one. Now do it with this one. Do everything you just did with now a lighter stick. More weight, louder. Big. Slower, slower and bigger. Okay, come up here. Maybe she's shy because of the loudness. Are these mushier? These aren't as harsh. Maybe you're being gun shy with the literal sound of it. Maybe you don't like the sound. Quit being shy and hit that thing. So come up here and feel that weight. Bounce that around. And then I want you to send, I want you to fling this weight forward. Uh, uh, fling that weight and send it down and then come right back up. Wham! And move as, move as fast as humanly possible. Yes, now what you're doing is this. This is slow motion. Stop, then go. That wasn't a true bounce. Mm -hmm. that, was the bounce that was the basketball player just grabbing the ball, touching it to the ground and lifting it back up again. It's not a dribble. Let go of this thing. Let it fling right back up. Yes, now I hit it for, now I hit it fast. Yes, faster. Faster. Good. Yes, you have the movement down. Good catch. Hit that thing. Yeah. Same stick as you, because we're a match. Louder. You hear how this is cracking against that thing? Like the, like, like the wood of the stick is pushing through that and like really whacking this. Get it, let me hear it that loud. I'll go, then you go. And then we'll switch sticks for the critics. <laughs> Hit that thing. Oh, that was better. You hear like the colossal amount of volume that I'm getting out of that thing? Like it is going down the hallway there. Send that sound down the hallway. Fill up this house, don't be shy. All right, now don't be a goofball. <laughs> Give me some good form. Get your elbow up here. It's not gonna hit this thing. Hit that thing for real.
left, okay? Now come to here and then start, make sure you're in a good position and then just initiate here. Wham! Oh, and then and let it fly back. Okay, good, good, good. That was good velocity. And you have proof that it was velocity because it flew right out of your hand, which shows that the hand isn't strong yet. Yet. Hey, gym teacher, I want to get swole AF. Okay, did you drop your other stick? Oh my god, okay. We'll use mine, my Jet Lee sticks, my Bruce Lee sticks. Okay, come back to, let's do this. At the fulcrum. Show me where the fulcrum is. Bounce it. Do what I'm doing. Find the fulcrum. Where's that thing we want to bounce the most? Yeah, okay, now, now, from here, you're less likely gonna drop it now because you, we've got this like, like make a fist. Like that is really locked into your hand now. So now hit this thing for real. And don't worry about it falling out of your hand because now it's less likely to fall out of your hand. Oh man, that was really sharp. Yeah, it's better. Now she's not afraid about yeah, because you're not hitting it for real. You're not uh, uh, going for it because you know your hand isn't strong enough to deal with it. So get strong and drum more, but do it properly. Don't, don't you be practicing things wrong and bad technique. I'm going to murder you. Okay. Ba, 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 ba. Give me four big ones. Da, 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 da. Yeah. Now you're now you're letting it fly back. Do you just do it once and, and do this again? And have it fly back towards your own arm. See how it's pivoting there? I know. Try to try to just do this, but you can do it softly so you don't lose a stick. Now that thing is truly bouncing right back up. Yep, see it's uh, if we go too fast, we're gonna lose it. Yeah, yes. Now you're bouncing it. Now you're dribbling that stick. That stick is being dribbled. I bought, just bought these new tips. I actually bought something instead of invented it. What a, con <laughs> what a concept. I just want to check these out. I, they're, they're like if you hit a symbol with that, that would like severely deaden it. So it's such a smart. Mm -hmm. it's, it's for like, pl it's for not trying to be as loud yeah. on like, you know, practice tips on a drum set when you're living in an apartment in New York City, bothering people. Okay, now, so you're experiencing an actual bounce here. Now, come back to this, but still allow it to bounce. Yes. Now, all we're going to do is go from here to there, hold this thing like a drummer, and send it down, but allow it to come back up. Elbow up. Mm. 
Mm-hmm. Dig in. Yes. Ah, yes, you allowed to come back up. You kind of did a, a hybrid. But now, now keep your fingers on it and just dribble that thing. You're, you're, you're pulling in on the back of the stick to send it to reinitiate the down each time. Oh my god. Yeah, it, now, now your hand, it's, it's leaving your fingers because you're not sending it down fast enough. You have, it has to go down fast enough to get a chance to be able to come back up again for the next stroke. Dribble that thing. Walk that dog. Turn over. Dribble that thing. And less, less fingers and more wrist. And now, try to do a pure hybrid. Yes, yes, there it is. Now your wrist is going. Not just this fingery thing. Now, bigger and slower. Boom, 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 boom. But really allow it to bounce. Use this one again. That one doesn't like to bounce as much. It's bounce that sucker. Turn your wrist over. Yes. Bigger, slower. Still allowed to bounce. Good. Pinky. Bigger, slower. Louder. When you go louder, when you go slower, you get a chance to get bigger. We're going slower so that you can get bigger. I'll just say bigger and you go at whatever speed you need to. Okay, do it about this speed, but really allow that thing to just pow. You see how it, like, like just, it, the gun, the bullet just flies out of the gun before we can even see it. Like it. Try this. Instead of just ending the stroke here, we're going to end the stroke here. So now, what happens when we do this is we are allowing our hand to be taken by the stick. But now for this one, we have to allow our hand and our arm to like be taken and get out of the way for this. And i got to move my elbow out of the way really fast. Try that. And, and like send it straight down to the ground. Like really, like you gotta contort, yeah, you gotta, yes. In fact, we can even start from that position. Yeah, ah, ah, this is good. Yes! Oh my goodness, yes. Okay, that level of fluidity needs to be in every stroke you ever do, ever. You are bouncing these sticks, and when you're not bouncing them, you're controlling them. Like, like this would be controlled, stopping the bounce. Mm -hmm. we, have, we, have, we have strokes that are able to rebound, and then we, strokes either rebound or they don't rebound. Strokes either fly back up, either they rebound up, or they don't, or we stop them. Yes, good. <laughs> just pinch a little harder. Just, mm -hmm. just, just squeeze that little flea in there a little bit more. Try manually just squeezing a little harder and then go for that. but just have, allow a little bit more side tension on the stick, circular tension. All the way here. 
<laughs> yes, good. I don't care. Take it. Good. In fact, do that and now deliberately let it fly at her hand. Hit it for real. Get your elbow over here. Hit that thing for real. And let, no, I don't want it. It better not be in your hand, this next one. I want it flying. Let it fly. I kind of let go of it before I hit it. Hit it for real. Sit up straight. Let it fly. Start, start at the end position, then lift, then turn. Make sure your starting point is good. Yeah. Hit that thing. As I want you to move faster than you've ever moved in your entire life. Phew! Do it. Okay, uh, that's, 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 that kind of counts. Let it fly. In fact, just hit it and let go. Just, just totally, just, just let go. Okay, now, <laughs> run out of options here. Okay, now, all right, that's a, tra that's a trainer stick. Get a feel for it. Where does it want to center? Here, down. Whoops. These are not the sticks to do it for because we have really weird radiuses otherwise. Let's go scavenging. Regular stick. Just dribble that sucker. Is it fun to do this? Oh, mah, mah. back to the drawing board. One more time. <laughs> okay, you have two things to work on. That will improve your ability to human, guaranteed. <laughs> Letting the stick rebound, not letting the stick rebound. Mm -hmm. Letting the stick rebound, boing! So much so that it wants to fly at your hand, but it ain't as your, as your hand gets stronger. And then stopping the stick. Now crush onto it right as it hits. Yes. You have rebounded strokes, non-rebounded strokes. We'll call it rebounded strokes and we'll just call it stopped. We'll just, just call it what it is. Stop stroke. Show me a good stop stroke. Come all the way up and then slam it down and stop it. Yeah. Work on that. And then work on having it end three inches from the top. Just do, just do a small one. Just do this. Like, okay, come back to this. Center of the stick. Back of your arm. And now hit the same, now hit the same time. 
and now turn at the wrist. Both things, arm and and bar. Yeah, you're like, you're doing figure eights with that. That needs to be straight up and down. I'm, I'm building tools to help us do that. But for now, you're just gonna have to use your brain to think about it. Okay, and now, now choke up a little bit and have that thing hit the back of your wrist, but also have it hit here. Okay, do this. Center the stick again, and now just stop it there. But it's, it's stopping because you're hitting the back of your hand with it. Like, none of this, no thumb rolling. Turn over in that case. Okay, now do this. Just stop it right before you hit it. Start here. And then stop it right before you hit it. This is what we're doing when we do this. We're doing that, but instead of using the back of our arm, we're using the back of our hand. So now choke up, hit the back of your own hand. Hear that. Slam it, like send your fingers toward your palm. One hand to clap again. But this time, I think, I, yeah, now just clap. Clap your own hand, but there's a stick in the way. Clap the stick. You see that pocket right there, right here? Okay, you're never gonna do it by doing this. This. Put this in front of you, have your thumb face you, and go back and forth like this. Yeah, you're still doing this. You're killing me. Thumb facing you, and go that way with it. Let's see. Okay, face your thumb towards you. It's gonna turn outwards a little bit, but now send that stick this way. And now slam it into your hand. Yes. But now send it, literally send it this way in front of you, back and forth, to your left, to your right. Send it that way. And you're not going to do this. You're not going to do exactly what you're doing. Watch. This is you rolling on the thumb. This is me turning at the wrist. Yeah, there, there it is. Yeah, and you see how this is hitting, that just crushing into the back of your hand? When we're doing thumb rolls, look, it's got nowhere to crash into. It just crashes up into this like mush of the hand. We have the French grip, that the stick, back of the stick gets controlled by the, the meat, the, you know, the, 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 the drumstick, the chicken drumstick of the thumb. That's French grip. German grip, it slams here. So not here, there. It slams into, into over on the other side of your hand and down that you know, groove of our hand. So no, yes. Okay, come to playing position and just hear that sound, but come up. Yeah, now actually stop it. Now your, your locked position, your starting position is here. Come to here, and then just go up and stop again there. Doesn't matter if you hit it. In fact, we'll segue into hitting it. Okay, your thumb rolling, not this, this. Yeah, but now, now that you're not thumb rolling, see this is why you should never practice bad habits. Because now you have to like, and now you have to unlearn how to drum. Mm -hmm. we, we can't even get anywhere yet because we're having to like unlearn your body first, and then we'll learn it. So keep your damn thumb on there. Put, keep your fingers curled around, and 
open this hand and you resist the urge to do this, get that thing. Boom, boom, boom. Let it fly. Boom, 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 boom. Yeah. Let it rebound. Let it let it throw it straight down. Let it let it let it come back up. Yes. Okay. Now do a stop shot. Now now do a stopped stroke. Two. Yes. Do it again. Do it again. Oh. Do it again. Yes. That's how I have to. Okay. Just pretend I'm here doing this with you the whole week and not allowing your hand to go over here. That's for wimps. Yes. Now, see the reason why it's not working well? Because you, you didn't have it, like, you didn't have it cocked. The gun wasn't cocked. It wasn't in your fingers. You're just doing this. This is the stroke, which is why this is the almighty exercise. Now, okay, now this is what you're doing. You're just opening your hand. You need to go up and have it traverse with your fingers. Come here, bounce it up and down your fingers a little bit. Feel the weight of the front end of the stick coming down. And now, flap. Do it again. Is that your mamacita? Does, does mamacita mean little mom? It's my little sister. Oh, no wonder it's, <laughs> all I saw was a small figure. All right, adios, take this. Take this. You know how to practice. Yeah. Until you know how, until, you're, until you know how to hit this thing just once mm -hmm. well, hitting all the other notes is like, Technique first, then fancy yeah. putting together. Oh, I didn't finish writing it. Stop strokes. Rebounded strokes versus stopped strokes. Teach that to, teach that to Sonny. Show it to Logan. Show it to your band teacher. Show it to your new favorite gym teacher who can teach you how to like, yeah. Yeah. And your number one priority is grip strength with your gym teacher.